Scorpio, welcome to High Man Messages. I'm Alvin. That's not too loud. Um, this is going to be a message for Scorpio. For the, and my attention is for the full moon in Cancer. That's happening on the 29th. This full moon in Cancer is happening on the 20th. I already said that. It's happening on the 29th. And you might feel this energy three days before, three days after. So I'll tell you what's happening astrologically. And then I'll pull a short message if the message resonates with you. Excellent. If it doesn't, let it flow for someone else. So uh, full moons are a time of completion, right? They're times of ending. There's something that's full that you need to let go. It could be the end. It's supposed to be the end of a cycle. So think about this cycle specifically. Uh, it's about six months. It has been six months, six months long. So think about what was going on in July. In July, you started something or you thought about something or topics and ideas that took place in July are now going to come back to light or should come back to light at the end of this month of December. And, and it's supposed to be a form of completion. It's also gonna. It's also in in, can, in the sign of Cancer, this moon. So it's gonna be intense emotions, but it's more of like understanding, understanding your emotions. And if you did the work, then like you know, understanding it. Uh, how do you change this year? What have you learned this year? Uh, breaking expectations that you had. You know, did you exceed expectations? Did you maximize productivity? Did you, did you meet the goals and the things that you wanted to, to meet? You know, last year or even six months ago. Uh, you know, reaping the results of the seeds that you planted. Did you plant seeds? Did you actually do any work? If you did it, then you're gonna just repeat another cycle. Life is about growth. So if you're not growing and you're stagnant and you're complacent in the same space, no comment there. But this full moon in Cancer is taking place in your ninth house, which is society at large. This is definitely going to be a completion um, of, of something that's like learning. Uh, you might be graduating or achieving something or something that has to do with you learning. You learned something, you went back to school, you got a certification or maybe an understanding about something. You're getting this, this full moon is definitely bringing in a formal recognition or a diploma physically for something that you did that you taught yourself. Right? And there is, uh, you might be traveling to meet a partner, to meet a romantic partner. Uh, those are the energies that are coming out for Scorpios during this time. Again, it's in your ninth house, which is society at large. It's also going to be a very social time for you as well. So, think about what's going on in July. See if that stuff comes up. Should be ending it. Let's pull some Oracle Monology. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Someone here needs to meditate a little bit um, or, or, or put some form of spirituality into your day-to-day -day life. Whether that's meditating, whether that's yoga, whether that's just believing in having positive vibes and energy, um, putting good intentions out there into your practical day-to-day -day life from the animal spirit. Cat spirit, claim your independence. Someone might have claimed their independence, they got their apartment back, they got their life back, right? Cat spirit, number 13, broken down to number four. Um, yeah, you, you, you had a different peace of mind. You wanted a calmer sense of life. You got your independence back. Maybe you left a situation. Maybe you left a situation or you will be leaving a situation that now gives you the freedom to do what you want to do and claim your independence and do things the way you want to. From my love deck, hammer, sabotage, rebuilding. Um, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Yeah, you you put the hammer, so you broke something down. You had to break something down in order to reclaim yourself. You had to, you had to put a hammer, maybe you physically put a hammer. It's funny because uh, you put a hammer to something and then now you got everything back, right? Sometimes you got to do that. That's and that happens. That's okay. Let's see from the Angel Wisdom deck. Overall message: How should we perceive this card, and what's the underlying message that we're not seeing? The world. Wow, I got this card twice already today. 
a brilliant success times for rejoice like travel could be involved actually i said that you might be traveling for a partner um freedom to do whatever you want be proud of yourself literally like yeah someone here got their freedom back you got your independence back with the cat spirit you got your you got your freedom back with the world like this is like you got it all here how should we proceed this card five of wands conflicts that caused by other people's opinion you walked away from drama so there was drama there was others a lot of opinions going on and you walked away from that you walked how should you perceive this card you wouldn't be in this world energy if you didn't walk away from certain situations um there might be a, there might have been a lot of people around you that were that you had to stand up for yourself like you were like fighting or you're battling or you're bickering about or you were arguing could be with work can be relationship can be with yourself too uh, but you were like battling back and forth like okay what do i do what do i want to do or having to defend yourself having to defend your beliefs and what's the underlying message that we're not seeing four of four of pentacles so this woman is, is buying something really bougie right here she's buying jewelry managing your resources wisely extremes in how you give your money time emotions smart business decisions seeing things as black and white and being charitable so you have enough now you have a lot of money to get back it, it talks about finances but you have a lot of emotions to get back you have enough spirit was generous with you and now you're going to be generous with people in your life um, whether that's in finances or your time um, you're in a very good place you have you, you are abundant you have you're happy you're joyful you have money you know you're willing to give back to those that, that need it um, because you worked on yourself you put a hammer to whatever life you had or a hammer to a situation and you're like fuck this i want to i want my life back you put spirituality into your into your life you have positive vibes good intentions you moved forward with something that's great there was people that were pushing you back or you were just fighting with yourself and now you're good you're set you have finances you're comfortable what animal spirit is walking alongside you hummingbird be here now L look at how beautiful these colors are you're living in the now you're living in you're, you're living in the current moment um, live in the current moment if you're not beautiful card beautiful colors number 34 uh, broken down it's number seven lucky number seven luck is on your side but you're set here you're pretty good you did a lot of work you put a hammer to life and now you're now you're good uh, Scorpio I hope this message resonates with you I will see you soon